What's up everybody, it's your boy uh, Fox. About to do another project here I'm in my basement. This is an unfinished part of my basement. What we're doing today uh, is building a shelf to go over the washer and dryer. Uh, it's not together right now. I was just fitting pieces to make sure all my cuts were good and the measurements was good and everything was level uh, and gonna fit right. But I'm going to uh, put this together, paint it. Uh, I also need to switch my washer and dryer because right now, as you can see, uh, I've only been in the house uh, for a couple of months. And uh, the way they have it set up, the doors open back to back. So when you're transferring clothes from the washer to the dryer, you know, it would be more easy if I switch them and just the doors open like that. And you have like that. Uh, to just go from one to the other. So that will also require me to take the dryer vent when I move it over and uh, add an extension to that because right now if I move the dryer over, uh, this is the dryer vent is gonna be short. Uh, we don't want that, so that's gonna move. And the same thing once I move the washer to this side, I need to extend uh, my drain, my drainage line. I don't know if you can see it, it's gonna be short, so I need to extend that. As well as the hoses, they're gonna be short because right now they don't quite reach. So before I even start putting this together, I'm about to take it apart, uh, put it to the side. I'm gonna move the appliances first and then I'll start building this. I'm gonna stop and pause the time lapse for a second because I'm in the process of moving the washer and the dryer. And I don't know if you remember, I said I need to extend the uh, hoses on the back of the washing machine because once I move it over there too short and I started to disconnect the washer here, but uh, I just decided in looking at it because it has these attachments that go on like this, I'm not gonna disconnect it here. What I'm gonna actually do is disconnect it I don't think I can flip the camera. So I'm going to actually disconnect it uh, here and put my attachments here. had to pause uh, I think the last thing I did was you guys saw me uh, check the water to make sure there was uh, no leaks uh, in my connection so I turned the water on to make sure there's no leaks in my connections um, but I had to stop because I realized uh, with my extension hose to connect it to the hose that's already on the washing machine I needed couplers which is these things uh, because both ends were uh, female so you can't connect two females together so you got to have this to be able to connect the extension to the existing hose uh, so I had to run back out to Lowe's real quick uh, and get these and uh, you want to make sure you check because I'm glad I did these are 3 4 inch to 3 4 inch uh, hex because I got the piece in the middle you can get it without the piece in the middle but I think the piece in the middle is better so the two uh, connections will have something in the middle to kind of jump up on because it, it will be just straight and threaded all the way around but I got the one with the hex in the middle Then put the uh, drainage hose on uh, then I'm gonna move it move the dryer over uh, I have to extend the, the vent uh, stuff on that so I'm gonna go back put my gloves on and pick you back up in time-lapse so after all of that um, I ended up having problems trying to connect the couplers together so I ended up just removing the old hose from the washer as you can see and connected the extensions directly to the back didn't have any leaks it works perfectly now so had to improvise on to the next step all right uh, I wanted to show you guys I'm putting the things on here uh, 
thought I was gonna have issues because uh, originally the end of it was too big to fit. It was like very loose. But uh, I read the instructions and you can cut it down. It has two different sizes, or three different sizes uh, to fit. So once I cut it down just to the next layer, uh, it's nice and tight now and it's snug and it's fitting on there real, real good. before I moved things in place and uh, there was a little bit of detergent on the floor under the washing machine so you want to make sure your area is nice and clean uh, before you move stuff all right now here in this next segment I am extending the dryer vent hose so I bought uh, an extension and some tape uh, and a coupler for that and uh, that's what you're watching here the extension of the dryer vent hose washing machine was about twice as heavy as uh, the dryer so it was hard for me to move it but when I got it in place it was uh, my floor is unlevel so I'm adjusting the uh, legs on the bottom also as you see my doors open outwards and not uh, back to back anymore going back normal speed I just put the feet in the uh, side panels so uh, it'll move or slightly off the floor if there's any water on the floor or anything like that to keep the wood from getting wet right now the wood uh, is dry we are going to paint it so we'll get to that later so right now I just need to assemble it uh pre-drill uh, before I use my actual wood screws to try to help keep the uh, plywood from splitting uh, when I put in the wood screws. I uh, started off with my small uh, handheld uh, cordless drill that doesn't have a lot of power to it and ended up uh, having to get my electric drill to uh, make things a lot more simple so you see that change in just a few. sure that whenever you're drilling or anything you use your eye protection safety first Right to the edge. 
and make sure this leg is straight up and down. Plump. So it's not slanted. Everything is nice and even. So right now, it's uh, really off. and do the out, both outside ones first. So let's get these down in here and hold this thing nice and straight. by exact measurements this is just by sight because again these are going to be covered and painted over so it doesn't matter if they're all in the exact exact same spot as long as you're not way back here way back here as long as you're pretty much even you should be okay okay what you're watching now is actually me measuring and preparing to cut and cutting out the actual shelf and we just used a regular black and decker standard jigsaw we pre-drilled uh, four holes for our uh, pegs to hold up the shelf uh, and got those in as well made sure they were level now that the cabinet is all together it's time to get ready to paint this puppy uh, but real quick one thing that you did not see me do uh, was I actually did uh, secure and fasten the cabinet to the wall uh, using masonry anchors uh, I put one on the back wall and one actually to the floor uh, to keep it from being able to wobble or shake a move because we don't have drywall so it's not secured uh, to the wall that way. So we did actually anchor it to the floor and to the wall. I did actually end up doing two coats of paint uh, and I used a very thick nap, uh, high quality roller uh, and I used semi-gloss paint. As you can see, we're all done. Uh, I'm proud of my work. We love the project. Um, all in all, with uh, supplies and materials, you're probably looking at about $125 for this project. Uh, I think a novice can do it. Um, I probably spent uh, in total of subtracting paint drying time, maybe about five to six hours to complete the entire project. So um, have at it, leave comments, uh, like, dislike, tell me what I could do better. It's my first video, so don't be too hard on me. Take care.